This is Justin Mott with your local and area news brought to you by Focus Care of Center, your local leader in nursing and rehabilitation services. Well, yesterday in Shelby County, there was a two-vehicle major crash that occurred on U.S. 96, about one mile north of Center. The preliminary crash investigation shows that around 10 a.m., a 2006 Kenworth truck tractor semi-trailer transporting timber was traveling north on U.S. 96 in the inside lane. A 2012 Freightliner was also traveling north on U.S. 96 in the outside lane. The Kenworth reportedly changed lanes when unsafe and struck the Freightliner. The Freightliner then drove off the roadway to the right where it struck a tree and overturned and then caught on fire and burned up. The driver of the 2006 Kenworth was identified as Daniel Stanley, 53, from Huntington, Texas. Stanley was not injured during the crash. The driver of the 2012 Freightliner was identified as Robert Jones, 58, from Beaumont, Texas. Jones was transported to a local hospital for treatment. This crash remains under investigation, and no additional information is available at this time from the Texas DPS Department. Going on today, the felony trial of Don Bradshaw Collins continues at the Shelby County Courthouse. Collins was indicted on February the 23rd on the first-degree felony charge of aggravated sexual assault of a child younger than six years of age. Because of the age of the victim, the charge has an enhanced punishment of a minimum of 25 years imprisonment. The offense is alleged to have occurred on or around July the 9th, 2015. Collins is represented by Nacogdoches attorney Clay D. Thomas. District attorney Stephen Shires is representing the people, and Judge Leanne K. Rafferty is presiding. At Timpson ISD, they have completed the second phase of their bond improvements construction. The softball team has started on their new field. And if you want to see pictures of the development, you can visit our website at cbc-radio.com. That's cbc-radio.com. In Tenahaw, the city of Tenahaw is still accepting sealed bids on five acres of land from now until March the 23rd. For more information on this, you can call 248-3841. That's 248-3841. And in other news, Desiree Cooper, senior at Joaquin ISD, is the two-time state powerlifting champion. She tells us how it feels and her college plans. Um, it feels wonderful, and I plan on powerlifting in college and going to either Louisiana Tech University or UTSA, University of San Antonio. And in Eastern News, correction to earlier broadcast, the Good Friday event is coming up next weekend for Town & Country. Jody Fountain tells us more. This is Jody Fountain with Town & Country Real Estate on the downtown center square. We are inviting the public to come on Good Friday, March 30th, from 2 to 4 to meet the Easter Bunny He will have some treats. He'll have Easter eggs and popcorn and cookies. So bring your camera, come on by, and have a sit down with the bunny. In weather, around 40 degrees and expected to be sunny today in center. And in sports news, the Center Rough Riders boys baseball team will have a game this Friday, March the 23rd, in Rusk. That is going to be at 7 p.m. and broadcast live on KQBB 100.5 FM. This news brought to you by the good people at Focus Care of Center, your local leader in nursing and rehabilitation services.